welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, we're going to do a quick review on the new Ghost Pepper Whopper. And this bad boy gives us some throwback vibes of some of the crazy Halloween Whoppers we've seen in the past with its orange bun and black sesame seeds. This ain't gonna make you shit all kinds of colors. <laughs> all right, anyways, so let's take a look at this. If you'll hit that subscribe button and uh, comment on this video, give it a like as well. I would appreciate that. Oh boy. I mean, just look at that thing. So here, here's another look, more detailed look at the burger. I don't know if I can lift this. Oh, yes, I can. So, it's supposed to be really spicy, but every time I get something really spicy from fast food places, eh, it doesn't really end up being that way. So what we got on here? Well, it's got ghost pepper cheese. It's got spicy queso sauce. It's got bacon, and it's got crispy jalapenos. I'm not sure. I, I guess the... Okay, I see the queso sauce. It's on top of the spicy jalapeno bites the crispy jalapeno so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a few bites and then tell you what we think and then y'all can go and decide if you want it now it's not at every burger king just yet it comes out nationwide on the 13th and then they do a special promotion from the 17th to the 31st on the app but if you're lucky enough run to your burger king see if they've got it order it if they do well we'll tell you if you should order it I mean, come on, it's an orange bun. How often are you going to get to say you ate an orange burger? Not often. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you to go get it. But let's take a few bites. Mmm. That's got a nice layer of spice to start with. And it holds true to your Whopper flavor. So you ain't got to worry about, okay, I'm just going to hide the Whopper flavor. No, that Whopper flavor is always so distinct. And that's probably the first thing you taste. This other time, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan. I like when it's masked. But this really holds, holds true, to true, true to two things. Spice level and Whopper flavor. Get them both right there. It's got a good amount of um, savory flavor from that beef patty and from the crunchy bacon. And then I like the dynamic of cheese. You get that standard American cheese flavor. You get some queso flavor. And then of course that kick of jalapeno and ghost pepper flavor all in there. Really works well, despite the fact that I would probably enjoy it being a genuine fresh cheeseburger from a local joint. I will take this. I, I I think it's a fun promotion, and I think if you have not taken a chance to try this, or haven't thought at least to take the chance and try it, you should really, really consider. I'm sorry about that loud airplane. I think this is one of the parts of Virginia where the airplanes just go right over, whether it's a jet from the airways or the airplanes from, from Norfolk. But anyways, we're gonna take one more bite and kind of wrap this up, right? It does have a nice intense swoop of heat. It's not like a pocky chip by any means, but it does really boil up. It's not gonna make you die because you've got all these other components from the bread that's not got any special flavor, it's just died, to the beef and the bacon. So it kind of matches up with that and gives you something that makes you feel like you're not gonna run and stick your head in a bat uh, in a gallon of milk or something you know so they did a good job here i like the spice levels flavor's not too bad again not the biggest whopper fan so i would give it an eight um for me to give a whopper over an eight is it, the, the flavor of a whopper really has to be masked for me so i like it i enjoy it i think it's worth trying good spice levels and like a lot of things that advertise to be spicy, this lingers really well. And I give you a thumbs up, Burger King. Other than that, I will see y'all around. Yeah!